Hello and welcome to Module Zero. So this is going to be all about the installation of Python and just some additional course information and we're going to get into some very basic stuff with Python to ease you into it. Um, so I guess first off, thanks for sticking around uh, and um, let's just get right into it. So uh, to start off with, there's kind of three primary goals for this course. Um, it's going to be to get you up and running quickly with developing Python code and different apps. Uh, it's also going to be able, teaching you how to write maintainable and readable code. This is a big part of Python. It's one of the biggest advantages with Python is that it helps you write code that other people can read. And so it's definitely going to be a big part of being able to come back to your code a couple of months later and being able to easily um, ascertain what's actually happening in the code if you can actually read it. So we're going to be going over some techniques for that throughout the course. Uh, and also going to be introducing you to some programming concepts if this is your first language. Um, I'll also be often making comparisons to some other languages, so if you're coming from those languages, hopefully this will help you kind of easily transition into um, Python. Uh, as I mentioned in the previously, there's three different sections. The reading is kind of what you're seeing here in this main window. If you're on GitHub, it will be the preview of the readme.md file. Um, and then there's going to be exercises, which I'll show you at the bottom, and challenges as well. Um, on the website, there's also going to be solutions. And if you're on the GitHub page, then in the main directory of the repository, there will be a solutions.py file that has the solutions to all of the uh, all the exercises and challenges. Uh, and then, yeah, wherever applicable, I have put extra resources to explain everything as best as I possibly can. <clears throat> So there's going to be three things, uh, actually there's going to be two things that you're going to require to be able to do this course. Uh, one is either a Python, is going to be a Python installation, so it's going to be for Python 3 and up. Um, it doesn't matter which operating system you're on, pretty much all of them have availability for Python 3. Um, a, and a code editor or IDE. You do also have another option to do this, which I haven't actually included in here, which is you can use a website. There's another website called repl.it, so R-E-P-L dot I-T. And so what this will allow you to do is you can actually just hit new REPL and then just hit Python. And what this will let you do is you can actually just type Python code on one side here and then it will just pop up on here when you hit run. Um, that's another option if you don't want to bother to set everything up locally. I would highly recommend you get things set up locally uh, just because it will make later portions of the course a little bit easier to understand if you do. Um, also, if you do want to submit feedback at any point, there will be a form at the bottom of each of these modules once I actually write the code to do that on the website. Um, or additionally, you can just send me an email, uh, kieran at canadiancoding.ca. Um, yeah, okay. So at this point, uh, I'm going to run through how to do installation setup. Uh, I'm Because there's obviously multiple different operating systems you could be on. I'm not going to bother putting all of them in this video to blow this video. Uh, so what I'm going to do instead is they're going to be separate videos for each different operating system explaining how to set up your environment and how to get a simple code editor or IDE set up. So in the top right there's going to be a card that will be popping up now. Um, select the video based on what operating system you're on. So if you're on Windows, like Windows. If you're on Mac or if you're on Linux then click the uh, appropriate videos for that and we'll help you get set up. Assuming that you went through and got everything set up now, uh, I want to quickly talk about uh, the two different ways of running Python code. Um, so if you follow the instructions that I laid out in the other videos, then you'll see that there is something called a REPL mode. I'm going to start with this. And so that mode is basically when, if I go ahead and open up a command line really quickly, and I'm using what's called Commander on Windows. Uh, you can, if you're on Windows, you can just use CMD. It'll look a little bit differently. I just prefer Commander. Um, and so basically you can type in on Windows Python and you'll see it'll pop up and it'll say Python 3.8. Um, and you can actually just run Python code directly in here. You can just start typing stuff out. Uh, so you can just start typing things like world and it'll just run. Basically, you type your command in and then it runs immediately afterwards. So this would be um, the output that came out of this command in Python. The other option, and it's usually more commonly found, is Python files. And so Python files are just files that use the .py extension in Python. Um, 
they're read top down. So if you use other languages like Java or anything like that, uh, Java will read things top down, but it will also do a step at compile time. There's no compilation that happens in Python. It's all interpreted. So you actually don't have to worry about running two separate commands to actually run your code. Uh, it's all just one command. And so that command is just the same command that you saw before. So that's just going to be, you just type Python like I have here, and then just whatever the file name is, um, and you'll be good to go. So uh, now and I'll show you that in a little bit here. Uh, we'll just go through a little bit of the basic syntax, and then I'll also walk through each of the exercises and challenges um, just to give you a better idea of what you'd be looking at doing for yourself. <clears throat> so uh, I guess let's just get into actual Python code. So in Python, um, there's something called a comment, and so comments basically will allow you to uh, write code that doesn't actually do anything. And so let's say, for example, you had something where, um, I'll explain later what a variable is, and you wanted to, for example, let somebody know what this is supposed to be. So you could just say like it represents an age. Uh, this little hash here basically says anything after the hash don't do not do anything with. This isn't code, this is just for me, the developer. This isn't for Python. And so Python knows not to run anything after this little hash. Uh, there's also another option if you have longer code that you wanna add in. So if you have some more information that's a little bit longer that you wanna type out, then this, these three quotes, you can either do three single quotes like that, and then write your stuff and then close it with three single quotes, or you can do three double quotes and then close it with three double quotes. It's all up to you. Uh, this will just allow you to do multiple lines of um, text without without Python worrying about it. Um, one thing to mention about that is that this is actually gonna be hugely important if you are just starting development. Um, make sure to put comments in your code as much as you can, because if you come back to it a month later, I can guarantee you from experience, you're not going to remember all of the stuff that's supposed to be in there. Um, and so if you don't put any comments in your code, it's it's going to be very hard for you to keep working again and again on um, any code that you've written before. Um, okay, so the next thing is functions. And so functions are basically commands that you can give the machine to do something inside Python. So we've actually already seen one. And so that was the one that I mentioned earlier, print. And so basically this just tells the machine to, well, print the information. Um, and so I'll actually show you on, instead I'll show you on REPL.IT. Um, and so basically with this, if I type print and then I use two, two quotes and then type some information in here, this basically just tells Python to run the print function. Um, and basically when I hit run now, what will actually happen is that because this is in a file, it will just print out hello world. And so functions, basically, they just, the only thing that really matters for them is that they have these, they, you have to have these um, parentheses around whatever you're, whatever data you're actually giving it. So for example, in this case with the print function, I'm saying call the print function and then give it this bit of text inside here. So I can actually just give it like two and hit run, and then now print gets two, and you'll see that this has changed, and now it just prints out two instead. We'll be using a ton of functions throughout the course. You'll get very used to them. We'll actually be learning how to write some of our own functions later on. Um, and so just get kind of familiar with just this, this sort of layout where you just basically have whatever the function name is, and then just two, two closing brackets here. Okay, so let's look at the exercises now. Uh, so the exercises, uh, you can see they just are in the browser exactly like this. And so if you want to run these on your own machine, then I'll just show you how to do this here. Uh, what I'll do is I will actually open, um, I'll actually just, I'll create a new file here on my desktop. So we'll create a new file and I will call it exercises.py. All right, and then now if I double click and open this up, I can actually just take all of this stuff that's inside exercises and just copy it and paste it in here. Uh, your 
your version, your editor might look a little bit differently. Don't don't worry about that. Uh, I'm just using a different theme for mine. So um, yeah, if you're interested, I'll leave the theme information down below. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at these exercises. So the first exercise is to add and remove comments. So in the below uh, example, comment out the first line and uncomment the second line and then read the file. Okay, perfect. So in Visual Studio, there is a play button, uh, in Visual Studio Code rather, there's a play button for us to run the files, but I'm gonna actually do this from the command line the way that I mentioned before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just close that window really quickly and I'm just gonna open a command line on my desktop. And so the trick to doing that in, uh, in Windows is you can just do CMD and then it will pop up here. Uh, I think you can actually also hold shift and then right click and then there'll be a thing that says open, open command terminal here. And so I'll just quickly save because now I've added this stuff in the file and we'll take a look at what actually runs when we just run the file plain. So we'll just say Python and then we'll just say exercises.py. So when we run, you see it runs and it says this shouldn't print. And so that's coming from this very first line here where it says this shouldn't print. And so what we can do is if you remember with comments, we can basically tell the program what we want it to run and what we don't want it to run. So we can actually just comment out this line here. And then now if we run that same program again, nothing prints, right? Um, but we actually want the second line to print. So we can go ahead and uncomment the second line. And now when we run it, we get this should print, which is exactly what we wanted based on what the exercise said. Uh, and then the second exercise is talking about printing out multiple things. And so for this exercise, you're going to print out multiple things at once. To do this, we can have each thing added to the print function as arguments, and it's comma delineated. So if you wanted to print out hello world, for example, you could do print and then hello world. I can actually just show you that really quickly. As you can see, now it says this should print and hello world. I was going to go ahead and comment this out for the moment. Oh, whoops. There we go. Uh, and then now when we run that code again, you'll see it just says hello world. Perfect. Um, and then for this exercise, instead of printing, uh, print your name instead of world. So in my case, I'm just going to do hello Kieran. And there we go. So now we've written a couple of lines of our own Python code. Woo, super exciting. Um, additionally, if you are on the website, uh, there is the option to also, if you're stuck on any of these things, uh, to click and then when you click this, it will actually show you the solutions. And so you can see it has the, the same thing. I just added the, the first name and last name to this version as well. Um, but all the code is there. And so now we've written our own um, Python code. Uh, there's no challenges for this one. There wasn't really anything that was too challenging. This is mostly just about getting your stuff set up. So basically, if the code ran and it worked exactly as you just saw there, then you're golden. Um, if you're having any other issues, you can feel free to either uh, submit them as a question via the feedback form, um, like I said, or additionally, you can contact me on the YouTube video uh, that you're currently watching. So uh, in the next one, we will move on to module one which will be about variables and data types. So hopefully I will see you there.